Hey guys, today we're taking a look at the UK Action Force version of the G.I. Joe Killer Whale, the Warrior Hovering Assault Launching Envoy. So originally in the US this was the G.I. Joe Whale, but in England this got two releases, and this is the first one. This is the Action Force Hovercraft. We then got a later version of it with the similar to G.I. Joe branding, but still called Action Force and it did take up the name Killer Whale by that point. So the only real difference is the stickers. We've got the big red, white and blue stripes, we've got the yellow and red Action Force logo, and we've got some very large lettering on the sides. Now this isn't my original one I had as a kid. I originally had the second version. However, this toy is notorious for having lots of parts that can be lost, bits that can be broken, it's an absolute nightmare to put one together. This is actually complete, however, you may spot there's some bits missing off the back. I do have them, but they're broken, and I'll show you them a bit later on. So as you can probably tell, this thing is huge. You can just about make out the figure in there. That's a standard 3 and 3 quarter inch G.I. Joe figure called Cutter. And this has wheels underneath, and it rolls along a bit like a supermarket trolley. So this is the Pilot Cutter, and he's the same on the British and the US releases. Standard G.I. Joe figure from that era, with the O-ring construction. We've got uh, elbow joints and a little swivel there. This is uh, one of the earlier versions where the head just turns left and right, rather than moving up and down as well. And on the knees, we've got a bend there. And the legs you can do pretty much whatever. This is the little bike we get with the set. It is very small, a little bit too small for the size of figures. Turns at the front wheel, back wheel spins. Not a lot to it really. So you can fit Cutter on the bike, but he does look a bit silly. It's a little bit too small for him. So this is the little recon sled. Again, it's very small, quite fragile as well. This top piece loves to come off, especially when you fire it. And it has three little lugs on there that connect it they are notorious for breaking and it doesn't really hold on when you launch this got three little wheels underneath I like the bike we can put cutter on there but it is a little bit too small for him when you do launch this it does tend to get stuck so right up top we've got cutter in his little command post there I remember snapping this trying to put it on when I first got mine so straight away there's something to look out for and if we take a look from the back we can see if we just pull him out of there we've got some little foot pegs in there and we've got some little controls just by the driver's station we have these little missile pods now each one holds four missiles they're all the same and they can be removed they're actually made of rubber rather than hard plastic so that's what one of them looks like you need eight of them and they slot into there there is a little cross piece in there as well that does come out the only thing with these is they're either pointing up or they're flopping about. You can move them around but as you can see they don't tend to grip very well. And the other side is pretty much the same. Just underneath the missile launchers we've got these engine covers. Now these do come off, you've got to sort of push them from the bottom. They do have a little tab on the top and inside you can see some engine detail in there. They are left and right handed. You can fit them on on either side, but you'll notice that grill will either be at the front or at the back if you use that one. And if we move forward a bit, we've got these mortar cannons, I think they are. These move up and down, and they do stay in position. These little covers are terrible for breaking. Also on the ends of these, these little sections do come off. Now you might be noticing there's a couple of different colours of green on this. I think this has been put together from couple of different releases you see these turrets are a different green as well up top we've got these two little turrets and these just move side to side and if we put some figures in there is no inside to these there's a little black bit that's attached to the bottom that they're standing on the turret is just a little ring that sits on the top we'll put Lady J and rod block in the guns and right at the front we have the boarding ramp now if we just move them guns out the way this piece lifts up and we have this little ramp that moves down and in there there's some foot pegs that you can't really see because it's black I'll stick a figure in so you can kind of get the idea how deep it is so there's lifeline in there and this front section is actually raised we just stand tripwire on there 
you can see the difference there and if we take a look at the bottom at the very front we can see we've got this little hatchway that I've had to put a bit of blue tack on there to keep it shut unfortunately it doesn't want to play today but what you would do is push that in it would lock in place you press the white button on the top and this would come launching out normally the figure would get stuck and that bit would come off the top and you just end up with it all over around the back we have the depth charge launcher now this one's got five barrels I believe originally it would have had six but it does actually only hold five and all we do with this is move this little lever and that will reload the depth charges as long as they don't get stuck which occasionally that happens and on this side we've got the little bike you can put that in either way on but you do have to move the handlebars under no matter which way you put it you can't sit a figure on it and have it in its place there now on to the fins at the back now sadly these are broken but what you had originally you see these have got a peg there and a peg there and they would lock in on either side this one is actually there but it's snapping in that point there so I'm not actually going to put this on these holes you would put in these pieces and they would sit in between the fins and this is a common problem with all of these unfortunately there's a tab missing there you normally either find they're broken or one of these little bits here has been broken so without the fins on I'll show you the mechanism at the back we've got these giant rotor blades that do slide out made of very shiny plastic you do need to make sure if you're getting one that these are straight because if they're, they're bent in any way the feature won't work and they slot into that little bit behind it and you see they're all connected together so when we press the white button it does that so as you can see there's a lot that can go wrong with this loads of features that don't work anymore bits that break loads of pieces to lose but even with all that said it's still a fantastic toy I loved this as a kid my fins broke straight away I broke that bit I um, think I broke the little sled as well these bits I definitely managed to snap off but even with all that I still got a lot of play out of this so there you have it the Action Force Hovercraft or the G.I. Joe Killer Whale this is Luke thanks for watching and I'll see you next time